Hello, this is Blaine McCormick with the Baylor Business School with a video to help you on your balance scorecard, at least getting some of the points there. I call this series Just Right, and it uh, is a series about some of the things on the balance scorecard that you can't have too much of or too little of. It just kind of has to be just right, and one of those is plant utilization. And so let's take a look at the plant utilization metrics on the balance scorecard for the Foundation Business Simulation. And you'll see here that it's a it's a little uh, little, little uh, bridge shape where you know being in the middle is just the place that you want to be if you have too little plant utilization you know something called less than 90 percent uh, you have idle assets uh, you've got factory that you're planting you know equipment that you're paying for that you're not using and this is a very expensive situation going on here if you've got uh, at least a hundred percent utilization of what you're using up to you know, 180% plant utilization. You get full credit on your balance scorecard. But then again, uh, mysteriously, uh, if you get above uh, 180% to 200, um, you don't get credit again. And what uh, this is teaching you is it's a very good reflection of reality in manufacturing. You can go from idle assets on one end to having no slack on the other end to um, take advantage of some uh, unexpected sales opportunities or some promotional opportunities or things like that or just uh, plain and simple plant maintenance and so uh, a surprising number of plants uh, run on this uh, uh, scenario here in the middle that we call just right uh, I, let's consider Mars Snack Food USA I live in uh, Waco Texas and we have the Skittles plant here in Waco, Texas. All the Skittles, Starburst, and Snicker bars in North America are made in uh, Waco, uh, very close to where I live, actually, and very close to my house. And so I have a number of friends who work at the uh, Mars Snack Food plant, and it's a wonderful operation on a number of fronts here. Uh, but uh, I just want to point something out here as we look at plant utilization. Uh, Mars Snack Food USA uh, runs on three shifts. They have a shift that starts at 7 o'clock, they have a shift that starts at 3 p.m., and then they have a night shift that starts at 11 p.m. But they've got a factory, and they're running three shifts on it. They're utilizing everything that they uh, have built. And I've also uh, learned just last time I spoke with people at the plant, this may not be currently accurate, but I suspect it's probably pretty close, that the plant runs at 80% capacity. Uh, to leave a little bit of slack for maintenance and some unexpected opportunities. For example, if they need to run a special uh, version of uh, 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 Skittles or a special kind of Starburst, they have a little bit of slack in their operation. It's not planned for the entire year. They can stick it in, uh, run this new thing that's come out, and try to sell it. And so uh, that's a little bit about Mars Snack Food USA. But here's how plant utilization is calculated. Let's use the Mars example, and then I'll show you the foundation example over here. Let's just say that Mars, with their three shifts, let's say they have a, a thousand capacity. And each one of their shifts, they make uh, 850 units of Skittles or Starburst or Snicker. Uh, Snickers or something like that. So we have three shifts at 85% utilization. That's, uh, you know, 850 out of 1,000 is 85%. And so if we have three shifts at 85% utilization or 850 units across three shifts, uh, that leads us to these calculations here. We multiply that by three, gives us 2,550. Divide that by the total capacity, and they're running overall at 255%. Uh, utilization. So they're taking this, this set of assets here, this 1,000 capacity, and they're putting it to pretty good use. Uh, foundation runs uh, kind of the same way, um, except you only have two shifts instead of three shifts. So let's say this is a nice round zero um, uh, example here. You have a plant that can run uh, 800,000 units capacity. Now let's say you decide to run uh, two shifts of 700,000 units each. And so to get the calculus, uh, to calculate plant utilization on that, so we'd have two shifts at 87.5% uh, utilization, or two shifts of 700, which would give us 700,000, which would give us 1.4 million units. Divide that by the original 800,000 uh, capacity, that gives us 175% utilization, which puts us right square in the green zone uh, there on just right. And so you can get your um, uh, plant utilization statistics actuals uh, here on page four of the fast track. You'll see this last column. It tells you how you did on plant utilization 
the previous round and then you can uh, see what the capacity is for yourself and your competitors in the upcoming round so that gives you a little bit of feedback there's also some things on your pro forma balance scorecard there but that's the feedback mechanism for the fast track and here's where you make your decisions uh, of course you schedule production up here in this cell and you have uh, your capacity uh, modifications down here in this cell so if you have too much capacity uh, you can sell capacity here just by putting in a negative number if you have too little capacity you can buy more capacity here if you need to increase or decrease your plant utilization so you either you know change the uh, denominator uh, down here or change the numerator uh, up here in your scheduled production to get just where you want on plant utilization. There is a very useful little graph at the bottom of your production decisions page I thought I would highlight here and it tells a very simple story but it'll show you product by product if you have up to five products in foundation it'll do that for all five products but this is just round zero uh, here but where you want to be it tells you three things uh, it tells you your base capacity here your 800,000 units and if you run two shifts it tells you you know you can do 1600 or 1,600,000 units uh, here with two shifts and then it's telling me uh, what my production is right now here on this little uh, beige or yellow uh, graph here and where I want to be for plant utilization to be in the green zone I always want this one here to be above the uh, base capacity or a hundred percent utilization but yet below the um, uh, below 90 percent uh, utilization here that leaves me 10 percent slack in the system and that's a good thing that gets me right where I want to be uh, with 180 uh, percent uh, or less uh, plant utilization on there so uh, that's where we want to be uh, not uh, you know not too much production uh, not too little production but just right here between 100 percent and 180 percent plant utilization so that's a little uh, bit about plant utilization on the balance scorecard and I hope you find this useful thanks for tuning in